All right, so we're going to make uh, some dubbing brushes today. Doesn't look all that impressive when you see a dubbing brush. Uh, the first time I saw it, I kind of didn't get it. And then once I did, I went, oh my goodness. So we're going to go from that to this. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is what we're going to make. But first you have to learn how to make a dubbing brush. Could you make this fly without a dubbing brush? Absolutely could. Would you make it as fast? No. Would you make it as good? No. Um, once I started doing dubbing brushes, just the movement in the water, the way it's so easy to get um, your proportions right and the silhouette and all that, it's just the way to go. So let's get her going. Kind of first things first, I'm gonna take my vise, start manipulating it here. As you do. Let's see if I can get all this in there for you so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm just gonna get a hook. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put it in here. Let's do it like that. So wire is really the answer to dubbing brushes. So I just have this like gardening wire, floral wire, and it's pretty much the answer. Um, when I first started to um, teeter with this idea of making dubbing brushes, I uh, didn't use wire, I used twine or string. That doesn't work, you'll see why if you've never made one of these before. But uh, what I do with that hook that I put in here is I use it to hold it on there. You don't have to do that. That's not really a like, requirement. I just find it holds it a little bit better than um, the other way you could do it, which would be like around here or whatever. It just kind of holds it a little nicer. That's why I do that. You don't have to, but it's an option. Gonna get my dubbing brush tool. I'm just gonna kind of twist this around a couple times. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing there. I'm just doing that, just twisting it around. I'm gonna show you some of the supplies. So I get flash. I get it off the internet actually because it's way cheaper. Uh, got two different kinds of flash here. And then I got synthetic hair as well. Let's get started with this thing. So these are super, super easy to do. I have a bunch of different materials you don't need. You could just do it with one material if you wanted to. It's up to you on how you want the fly to look. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda feather these out so they're all kinda different lengths. I'm gonna lay it on my wire. My wire's not sitting great this time around, but uh, I'm making a video, so why would it? You know? This is the time here in Canada, as, uh, as well as the rest of the world, I guess. Um, so fishing's not happening, and I actually find it hard to get motivated for fishing when I don't really have kind of fishing in sight, so to speak. So I've been kind of dogging it when it comes to tying. I usually um, use my time in the winter to tie, but I don't know. I have been tying a bit, just not making videos. I always get super nervous when I make videos, so... Yeah. So, I'm just kind of just chucking this on the wire, not really... Some people get super tech, but if you watch any of my videos, you'll know real quick that I'm not super tech like that, because I don't think it really makes a difference, unless you're planning on doing, like, let's say, uh, uh, you know, selling your flies 
you know, then I could see why some of these things would be important. Um, I'm more about just making it simple, getting out there and going fishing. So, I think this will be just fine for you. Experiment with it. Once you see how it's done, it's like, oh yeah, obviously it's the simplest thing in the entire world. That's like the, the thing about fly tying, it's, it's usually like crazy simple little tricks. Like the first time I tied a dubbing brush, I just used regular string and it didn't do a damn thing. So that was, I didn't tie another one for months because I didn't have a dubbing brush, uh, like a dubbing uh, tool, a twister. And uh, then I got one on sale because Wholesale Sports in Canada went out of business and uh, kind of got myself in there. Got some sweet supplies. I got like a crazy amount of salmon hooks. And if anybody could tell me like why salmon hooks are designed the way they are, I would be super grateful. Like why is the the end part there near the eye, why is it like that? I couldn't find anything online about it. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you in here so you can see what's up. So I'm gonna take my other end of wire here. And I'm gonna, gonna sandwich it over the top. Oh, my hand's in the way, Frank. All right, I'm gonna take the wire, I'm gonna go along here. I'm gonna start twisting. Kind of feather everything up so you can there's like a lot of trapped material in this so just want to get it free and that's pretty much it this is not a perfect dubbing brush but it'll do the job just fine just gonna give it a couple more twists done so stay tuned so you can see how to turn this into this until next time